Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an inbuilt corset. This video was highly requested, so let's get into this. So I draped my design and here are my patterns. If you drafted yours, you can do the same thing. Just follow these steps. Here we go. The first thing you're going to do is put your designs on your patterns. This is your waist right here. Transfer that to the interfacing on your main fabric with a pencil. Do that to all your pieces. The waistline is first. Mark it lightly so it don't go through the front of your fabric. Next, get a needle and thread. I suggest that you use a very thin needle so it don't make a big hole in your fabric. Make the stitches big, but not too big. You can make it about one and one fourth apart from each other. Then cut the thread, but don't cut it right here. Cut it about two inches away so it doesn't come out the fabric. Once you finish with all your pieces, this is what it's going to look like. This is the front and the back. The next thing you're going to do is a triangle design. Remember, you're going to do it on your pattern first. You decide where you want it. So I decided I wanted to go down from the center front waist about three and one fourth and start the triangle from there, then connect it to the waist. Here is the back. This is the waist. As you can see, the triangle connects to the side seam at the waist. When you finish with the triangle design, it will look like this. The back has a straight line from the center back waist to your side seam waistline. Next, put your line in right side to right side and sew here, here, and here. After that, top stitch the top so it looks clean. Then sew the center back. There's different ways to sew a bus cup. In this video, I will show you one method, but there will be more in the future videos, so stay tuned. To make bra cups, I use a cut and sew bra foam. They come in different colors. The next step is to sew the bra cups to the corset. I use pins to attach the cup and then I do a basting stitch. It's in white so you can see it. The reason why I use the thread is because the bus cup is a little bigger than this circle. So you have to ease it in. Cut and sew bra foam is when you make a custom bra. It acts different than the ready-made cups. There is also two methods for lining. If the main fabric is thick, then I suggest that you cut off the seam allowance around the circle of the lining. But since my fabric is not thick, I left the seam allowance there. When you sew the foam cups, don't sew it on the top. Face the bottom on top of the machine so that if you see a pucker coming, you can stop it by lifting up your foot and fixing your fabric so you can continue sewing. Let's sew. This is what the bra cups look like in the front and back. So the next step is the underwire channel. As you can see, it's straight, but I like to iron it so it curves. It helps the cup lay flat when I'm sewing it on the front. If you are enjoying this video so far, smash that like button so it lets me know that you enjoyed it. All right, so now you can put your underwire inside the casing. Next is the skirt part. Remember on your pattern how much you went down from the waist. I went down three one four from the waist. Take your amount and put it on the skirt center front. So for an example, I went down from the waist 3 one fourth. This is what it's going to look like after you cut the top off. Don't forget to put your seam allowance. Mine is a half inch. Then use the pattern to cut the skirt. The first thing you should do is sew a basting stitch on the V part so it doesn't stretch out. Then sew the side seams. Make sure that you always press your seams flat. Next, sew in your zipper and stop about five inches down from the hips so that your client can get into the skirt. Then from there, measure from the end of the zipper to the hem. Use that measurement to sew your lining closed. For an example, mine is seven inches. I start sewing from the hem up to the seven inch mark on the lining. After that, put your lining inside your skirt. The wrong sides will touch like this and the clean side will be inside the skirt. Then sew the skirt to the lining. Turn the lining like this. Put your hand in between the fabrics. Reach for the zipper and the lining. Then turn it inside out. From there, you're going to sew the back of the skirt with the notches. Then turn the needle and sew all the way down till you reach where the lining stops. This is how the skirt looks. The top of the back side is closed, but the rest of the skirt is open. So the next step is to make the skirt and the lining a one piece of fabric. So to do that, sew all around with your seam allowance. 
but stop here at the end of the opening. My seam allowance is a half inch. Next, open your skirt and put it on your corset. The reason why I said sew the skirt opening with your seam allowance is because you're going to pin that line on the white stitches of your corset and sew right on top of your skirt seam allowance. It makes it easier to sew. Also, I put steel boning in the casing, so I cannot sew on the boning channel. Every time I get close to the channel, I would have to lift the needle up and move it to the other side of the channel so the needle doesn't touch the steel boning. For my design, I made the back closure stop before the lacing bar. And I hand sewed the skirt to the boning channel since I couldn't use the sewing machine. If you are using Rigeline boning, then you can sew right through it. Next, take out the stitches from the waist. This is how the inside looks. You see the white stitches right there? That's the hand stitching for the center front where the V starts. I put it in white so you can see it. And here is the final look, guys. Do you like it? Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. There are more videos coming, so stay tuned. If you are interested in learning how to make corset loops, then click on this video right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Bye, everybody.